Did you know that the Swedish trade unions are a part of the world's largest democracy project? No other global movement equals the trade unions movement in size. In total, we are 181 million members of the democratic trade union movement worldwide. We are union to union. Our members are the Swedish Confederations LO, TCO, and SACO, and we support the global trade union movement in protecting their rights. Together with trade unions all over the world, we promote undeniable rights such as decent work, democracy, a fair distribution of power and resources, and sustainable development worldwide. As the trade union movement is the largest social movement in the world, we have the power to make a real difference. For example, Together with the United Nations, we are working towards the Agenda 2030 Goals, 17 sustainable development goals that are to be achieved throughout the world before 2030. Union to Union and the Global Trade Union Movement are focusing on six of these goals. Decent work and economic growth, gender equality, reduced inequalities, end of poverty, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and climate action. This is how it works. As a trade union member in Sweden or in any other country, you are promoting human and labor rights in the whole world through a global network. The Swedish Trade Union Confederations LO, TCO, and SACO are members of both the European Union Trade Union Confederation ETUC and its international equivalent ITUC. Many unions are also affiliated to global trade union federations that relate to specific sectors. One of the tasks of the global trade union federations is to enter into global framework agreements with multinational corporations by which these pledge to respect employees' rights regardless of geographical location. They also conduct global solidarity campaigns in support of unions in low- and medium-income countries where labor legislation offers less protection. You are supporting all of these efforts by being a member of the Swedish trade union and union to union. Isn't that great? Trade unions also collaborate under the United Nations flag the United Nations International Labor Organization, ILO, promotes trade union rights, social justice, and decent work. But trade unions are now facing some major challenges as companies and industries move their operations to countries where workers have less influence in the workplace than in Sweden. Working conditions in low- and medium-income countries are often appalling, and many workers form a part of an informal economy. The situation is serious, and there is a lot to do. About a third of everyone in gainful employment in the world today earn less than $2 a day. Women are still earning less than men, and they do more unpaid work. There are still 185 million child workers and 40 million slave workers in the world. And every day, 6,300 people die in work-related accidents or diseases. Everyone should have a right to a decent, safe workplace. If we are to achieve sustainability before 2030, everyone needs to earn a living wage and no one should have to risk their life at work. This is a question of all people's equal rights and worth as human beings. But it is also about the fact that poor working conditions in one place creates a race to the bottom, which disfavors workers all over the world. Just like the global corporations, we need to organize on a global scale and make sure that the unions have a strong representation across the world. Together, we can turn the efforts made by trade unions worldwide into a vital liberation movement.